Approaching target vicinity. Enemy planet in sight. This is where we make our stand. Yes, it all comes down to this. We end the crystal contamination here, once and for all. Um, dramatic much? Let's just get in there and shake them up. It's not rocket science, you know. Commencing descent sequence. Surface contamination detected in proximity, active and coordinated. They were ready for this. So they're prepared. Nothing we can change. All that's left is to hit them with everything we've got. Oh well. Looks like we're outclassed. So much for our superior tech. These crystals have cities now. What's next, Crystal Cafes? Actually, this seems to be a civilization that was overtaken by crystals. Just like the threat we face now. But judging by the decay, it was a long time ago. Save the commentary, you two. We're not here to admire the view. We're here to find the energy source that's fueling these crystals. Come in, all right, and fighters. Your orders are to prioritize the search for the target objective over combat. General Maxwell, a significant energy source has been pinpointed, originating from beneath the surface. High intensity readings detected. If it's under the surface, an entrance is out there somewhere. But finding it won't be a simple task. Think about it, Mr. Wherever they're standing guard without moving, that's where they're hiding the entrance. Even crystals defend what matters. Piece of cake, right? An area where they're not moving or reacting. There, just ahead. That passage diagonally forward from our location. That's our entry point. Those contaminated weapons are completely inert. No response to us. All right in fighter, do you copy? Coordinates for the entry point are now available. Begin descent through the passage and advance underground. Raiden has completed successful descent and initiated entry. Copy that. Confirm status on all other Raiden units still in transit. General Maxwell, we've lost contact with Zerstrom, and biometrics are no longer active. The fighter appears to have been destroyed. Damn, that's a tough hit. Acknowledged. Hold position and cover Raiden's advance. Prioritize fire on enemy support. General, permission to speak freely. How can you be so cold? One of our fighters is gone, and it's as if it means nothing to you. Save it, Portman. Stay on mission. Understood, sir. Bellwether, Raiden here. We're at minimal effective destruction rate. Engaging at full capacity to correct. Earth depends on it. Over. General Maxwell, Cracked has gone dark. It's likely they've been shot down. That's another one lost. It's a hard loss. But we're not done. Reinforcements are on their way. Set up for immediate interception. What? Those were our people out there, General. How could you... How could you be this heartless? Ugh! I've had enough of this. Pull yourself together, Corp. Sacrifices are part of the job, and we're counting on the General to make the right calls. I can understand being shaken up, and that's fine. You're human. Just use that frustration to push forward, not hold us back. Huh? <laughs> ah! General Maxwell! He's hurt! Badly! Medic, we need help! General, you can't stay here. You have to get to the sick bay. No, I'll stay. I won't leave my post. The Bellwether needs its commander now more than ever. General, please! Those injuries won't allow you to maintain your post or issue orders properly, even with treatment. There's no one else fit for command, and I won't leave the Bellwether without a leader. All right, fine. Being a swashbuckler in stasis is cramping my style. Can't have that now, can we? Guess it's my turn to have fun. I've led crews before. I'll take the helm. Besides, I'd like to keep Earth intact for my next adventure. Hold on! You're actually relinquishing command to Valbarossa? Alright, I suppose there's no other way around it. Visuals from Raiden are up. 
Their civilization shows a level of scientific advancement that greatly exceeds ours. All that progress, and look where it got them! What good is all that if you still end up destroyed? Who knows? Maybe there's a bit of treasure around here. I'll take a peek if we get the chance. Are you serious right now? We're in a critical situation. Act accordingly. Oh, lighten up, Portman. Formalities are boring. A little fun keeps the edge off when things get tough. Hmm, deeper than I expected. Oops, guess it's time to get serious. General, what are your recommendations? Do you want offense or defense here? You're in command now, Barbarossa. Make the call as you see fit. You're really okay with this? I don't feel great about this, but I suppose we don't have a choice. Bellwether, right in here. Nearing the core, detecting unusual crystal formations. Not consistent with known type. Any intel on this? Over. Beautiful sight here. Uh, but then, it's a grim reminder. These are the same forces that have engulfed this whole planet. I don't understand how you can stay so calm. We're at a huge disadvantage, and it's like you don't even care. Yo ho, yo ho. A pirate's life is always one step from disaster. I'm still here, aren't I? And I'll keep it that way. Looks like the area around the gate is clear. Not a single enemy left. I gotta admit, the bellwether is something else. My pirate ship never had this kind of muscle. General, I mean, barbering. Contamination's been coming from above. And it's a lot more than we've seen. Oh, perfect. More company. Just what we were missing. There's no time to hesitate. Please issue the order. Should we advance or hold the line? Hmm. Looks like we make a run for it. Bellwether, an all right and fighter. Four o'clock full speed. Get to it. Go, go, go! Leaving the gate unprotected is risky. Raiden won't have a way back if they take it down. Think about it, Portman. We can't hold the gate and hit them both. So if we run, they'll bite. And while my tactics may not be classy, they sure are flashy. That's the great pirate Barbarossa. The interference is getting worse. It's just a matter of time before Raiden's out of reach. It's not ideal, but they'll handle themselves. That's the way it is sometimes. They'll learn from it. That's it? Communication is lost, but biometrics are stable. They're still out there. All right, that's it. Time to move forward. Set the bellwether down on the surface. Let's put everything into radar and weapons for intercepting the enemy. Could you explain this strategy? Staying put makes us vulnerable to incoming fire. We're surrounded either way, so landing lets us secure one angle. This way, we can focus fully on threats from above. It's all about reducing attack angle. I see. Smart thinking. All we can do now is trust that Raiden is eliminating the enemy at the source, while we hold their attention. Raiden, I don't know if this will reach you, but we need you back here. Bring it on. They ruined my ship. Now they'll see what payback looks like.
enemy movement around us has stopped. The underground energy signal is gone too. What did I tell you? My gamble was right on target. Incoming transmission from Raiden. Bellwether, Raiden. Mission's a wrap. Bringing it home. Over. Looks like I'll be back to the seas I know so well. And for that, I'm truly thankful. Thanks to the Raiden fighter's lone strike, the heart of the crystal threat is no more, and contaminated weapons have fallen motionless throughout the land. General Maxwell, please, hold on. Uh, I'm fine. Just tell me, what's the status on those crystals? There's zero activity from the contaminated weapons, and the crystals that were spreading over the planet, they've disintegrated completely. I see. That's a weight off my shoulders. Let's hope Earth can finally rest easy. Yes, Earth matters, but so do you, Max. What were you thinking? How could you stay there in that condition? You're right. Valbarossa was more than capable of leading. Guess I just didn't know when to step aside. Just a reminder, General. You're the commanding officer. We need to count on you on the way back home. I was just the backup plan. I'm afraid I can't manage that one. Guess I'm not as tough as I thought. <sighs> Think I could at least get a farewell cup of coffee. Consider it done. I'll be back with that coffee in a heartbeat. So, this is how it ends. A coffee brewed by Asheria. The anti-coffee queen herself. Oh, don't be so grim. You'll have my special blend every single day from now on. I'm grateful, really. It smells amazing. But here's hoping it tastes as good as it smells. Yuck! General, what's wrong? Did your injury flare up again? It tastes horrible. What? That's ridiculous. Why are you rambling about coffee when you're clearly in pain? Sounds like something he'd do. But let's see if he's just putting on a show. Let me take a taste test. I'll take a sip as well. Ah! Yuck! Wait, are you two both saying my coffee's that bad? This... this is terrible! The hell? Did you do something special to make it this terrible? Eh, Shiria, I'll admit, you've done things to these beans I wouldn't wish on an enemy. If that's my last cup, I'll have to live just to redeem my taste buds. I'm making it your new mission. Coffee training every day until it's just right. Nice to see you're feeling better, but don't count on me for daily coffee duty. Didn't you just offer him coffee every day? Don't tell me you're taking it back. I... uh... damn it. Ah, uh, Ashiria, take a look outside. Our champions are coming home. I'm fine here, so go meet right in. It's their moment. Yes, General, I will. The battle at an end. The heroes are given a rare respite. However, once they return to Earth, the weight of reality will be waiting. <laughs>